Hello guys and welcome to another God and Waffles review. Today we are taking a look at two games. They are Breath of Death and Cthulhu Saves the World. Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Is it what? C I don't know. <laughs> I think it was Cthulhu. I don't know, man. Well, anyway, this first one we are looking at is called Breath of Death 7. Ooh. It yeah. looks epic. And they're both um like old fashioned styled RPGs and they're both nice little games. They're on Steam for two pounds for both of them. Ooh. So fairly cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I, for I like both. The, yeah. I like the intro music. Wow. Two pounds you get both of them. The music throughout nice. this whole game is very nice, I have to say that. Oh, and, go for hard, are you? Yeah, doubt that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> you didn't go for easy, did you? No, <laughs> normal. Um, but one thing I liked about this game was the fact that even though it was like trying to be an old style RPG, it was kind of mocking. Mocking? I don't think mocking is the word. Parodying. If that's yeah. the word. Parodying. Yeah. Um, Subtitle of magic. Devil of references. And stuff like that. I'm not sure so much about references, or maybe they did, I just didn't get them because I didn't play enough old style RPGs, why is, but, um... Why is... why is he called Dem? <laughs> what? My little... Are you called Dem? Skeleton. I'm called Dem, yeah. yeah. And no, it, Xbox. It shows an Xbox controller, and then, um... You'll see. He's like, what strange device is this? Oh, right, this is the PC oh. version. <laughs> <laughs> and then it tells you the PC controls. It's just the funny little things like that that just, you know, make you laugh out loud during the game. Lol, 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 lol. Yeah, lol, 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 lol. Tra la 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 And there's the brilliant um, little... Oh, how do you even explain it? The little animation it does when you enter a battle or leave a battle that, like, is typical of this sort of game. And, like, the battle music. Oh. And yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. A troll. Oh, you've got oh, a troll two robot. trolls. Yeah, fight two trolls. And you've got all your like um, magic points, like mana, and. So I am going to say that you do get party members. You have turned into a robot, but yes, you do get party members. I like am a robot. He's not a robot Party control. Um, yeah, like, as you go on, I think you end up with four, like, including this Dem guy, you end you up with four. You choose your party people. members, or a kind of... No, you get them as the story goes on. You get them as the story goes on. No. Oh. All oh, right. But it's... It, it is a set story, I think. There's, like, not really any way you could stray from it, but it still has the good RPG elements. 2xp! Oh, oh, level up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, One thing... Go on, sorry. I said congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, oh, you get to choose between two things when you level up. So, like, I'm it has you. a bit of character customization. So, like, mm. sometimes yeah. it's choosing between two abilities that one will be, like, um, you can run from a battle, but like 100% chance but it'll cost like 25 mana and then mm. there'll be one that costs 10 mana and gives you a 60% chance to run for the battle or something like that. So these like customizations that like when you level up do they drastically change like what a character can do or is it all yeah, kind of like... Do. Like um, when you have your characters you pretty much choose well you choose whether you want to focus their leveling up on like extra health over extra mana and stuff like that so mm -hmm. like this dem guy he's like a warrior sort of guy for me so i choose like strength sort of things all uh, right like vitality. there i can have mana points and uh, magic yeah. or i can have strength and vitality so i choose the strength and vitality ones Hocus Pocus. Troll Did chief, get... troll chief. Do you get to go around towns and then yep. go to the inn and then... So, 
Well, here you go. I just got everyone dead on this game. Yeah, that's the funny thing about this game. Like, um, oh, oh, by the way, um, ghost. The, he's moving so like slowly because spun. I kind of had a little like recording problem. He moves twice that speed normally, but that'll fix as the recording goes on. Sorry about that. But oh, right. so we're in a town at the moment. I'm. Like you can buy yourself a new sword. Buying stoofs. Yep. Buying yeah. Stoofs. Epix. <laughs> so got myself. murder them all and steal all the stoofs. Because she's behind a wooden block. <laughs> I don't somewhere. think that's a she. That's a she. <laughs> it's a big green monster. It's a serpent woman or something. I think it had a beard. Oh right. Oh, I'll always love her. <laughs> Still be a she, you know. But anyway, the story is pretty cool. Like, um, she was my first two. Shush, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the story <laughs> is, it's like um, a land where everyone's been wiped out and the undead take over and like are living happily or whatever and peacefully. So it's almost like a breath of death. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then some like evil comes to the land and threatens the dead's peaceful ways. Sarah. Oh, she's this not is, dead. This is Sarah. She's a ghost. Oh. And, um, she, like, you torture and, like, the guy you play is mute. Oh. So she can't hear him and she, like, demands that he be her bodyguard and mm, tells you epic. where she wants to go. But yeah, she can read your mind. Mind reader. So don't think of anything naughty. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Forcefully. Sarah has forcefully joined your party. Oh, I bet she's a magic type user because yeah, she she's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but like, once you've got your two party members, you gain like. Oh, she's got no legs. <laughs> you gain oh. abilities like a joint attack kind of thing. <laughs> And oh, the unite that is unite on top. technique thingy. Yeah, so um, like it spends both of their turns, but it does like a joint powerful move. So, so why actually is this thing here? Is this, this is the map. The map, yeah, and they're like a forest mountain. They're Do random encounters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, might have one in a second. But Wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> random encounter of a butterfly wasp thing. And a plant. Oh, it's Owl. a bird fly. Sorry. Oh, you killed it. So that was Unity. the unite ability. Yeah. Angry. Oh, there she is. You're not gonna kill it, are you? Yeah. Oh, you killed it. I've got to kill it. Ding. It's trying to touch That's me. That's my favourite angry flower. <laughs> Why didn't you give her agility? She didn't want it. Oh, and there's chests <laughs> throughout. Like one. RPG element that it has, which I personally aren't not so keen on, but kind of has to have is like mazes and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, you go through mazes. If you go one way, you'll get a chest. If you go another way, you'll just hit a dead end. Holy crap, look how fast oh, went. oh yeah, that's the normal speed. This is now. <laughs> so you can run or you can <laughs> just walk. And I've got some vampire dude who's joined me. I'm sure, sorry. it's not a girl. <laughs> My pick up. I'm very confused. <laughs> oh, uh, here you go. Um, one cool thing Very about the, one cool thing about the combat is when you do moves, you see the combo in the top right that goes up for each successful move that you hit, yeah. oh. and then you can use like a special finisher move which increases its power per like combo thing you have. Oh. So it's really helpful from bosses. You can like. Land big hits and oh yeah, I kind of K -k -k combo. I died there and had to restart like 15 minutes earlier. So let's move on to Cthulhu or Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> However you pronounce it. I am a robot. You're not uh, a robot anymore. Heavens. So this has got a pretty nice story as well. I'm not sure how much of it I left in. Um, really? Maybe I left yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's the sort that you just read over and you appreciate it. You don't try and pronounce the stuff. Yeah, you think of a name in your head. Yeah. 
Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of great Ryan. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, um, this Cthulhu Saves the World is a pretty similar game, like, at the core. But, I mean, it's a different story. Mm. It's got different characters in, different, like, obviously different adventure and everything. Hmm, but it's just... Are you some monster again? Yeah, you're a monster, and, um... They go for insane. Oh, oh God. <laughs> when you go for insane? <laughs> oh, I don't know, because I'm... You are an octopus. <laughs> yeah, oh, you are. Yeah, I'm kind of an octopus, man. That's what, <laughs> what Cthulhu <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> and he's pretty similar to, like, Dem from it's, the last... Looks... Oh, but he has insane mechanics, so he makes things go insane. Like, that one on the left is, has gone insane. Oh. And okay. it does different things depending on the mob or something like that. It still that. looks exactly the same. Oh, there you go. I used a finisher on that one, so it won't hit. That, that looks the same. This, this is kind of background in the battle side of the one. You are a robot. But, um, <sighs> I can't remember actually. But this <laughs> game. My battery's charging. <laughs> Could the loose save. I'm still a robot. No, you've stopped now. I'm still a spinful gun. Cthulhu oh, Saves God. the World is, like, slightly nicer graphically, I'd say. Oh, mm. right. Like, it's got these little... Tanga. Short, um, little, like, storyboard sort of bits. And oh, right. She falls it's... in love with me and says I'm a brave hero. And Dude, you're an it's octopus face. When I played this, she said the same to me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's I'm got having blue hair. <laughs> a serious word with her when I get back. Well, she'll probably have left you because she's actually joined up with me now. So. Beat that bitch. What she sees in you. I don't and, know. Right, so that was tentacles. the map you was on. And on the map you can still have random encounters. Yeah. Random. I read something like... Um, What's wrong with your face, mister? <laughs> I read something like you can only have 25 random encounters in certain areas. That's a what? lot. In total, or while you're in that area? While you're gibber, in that gibberish. area. Oh, he was speaking gibberish. you find out why later on. <laughs> See, this is... I played Cthulhu, and I was just really bad at it. But I think it's just because I tend to just attack, 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 attack. Whereas... Mm. You see, uh, you've got to kind of use the fact that one of your characters is a healer. Yeah, but I was more... Attack, murder all, mutilate, 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 mutilate. Get killed and yourself. How did that work out for you? Um, Rage quit on the first battle. Yeah, well, um, I was oh, kind probably. of over uh, my head here, so I was getting owned. You killed your girlfriend? Yep, <laughs> she's dead, but I was hoping that I could just carry on and maybe loot her body. And, no. But, oh, no. Uh, no. So you get a chance to retry the battle. You've got one-ups. Um, one yeah. <laughs> oh, what? So what happens when you... you I backspace. Game over. And game over. that was it. Oh, so, what? some little fun things Oof. here. This is Cthulhu the dog. <laughs> That's okay. The dog appears to have the same name as you. Oh, I thought I'd go to the tavern. Nah, the dog saves the world. Oh, yeah, here you go. There's a crazy old man who lives near the edge of town who speaks gibberish and follows some false god and i'm just like oh i still have followers <laughs> oh cthulhu's the god isn't he also? yeah he's oh. like his whole quest is he's got to become a great hero so he can restore his power so he can destroy the world that's epic talking to the dog again but yeah well anyway guys that was cthulhu saves the world and breath of death like i said two pounds on steam i'll put the link in the description Duh. so you can check them out for Ow. yourself i'd recommend them for Two pounds, to be honest. Yeah. Is oh. how much is that in dollars? Three dollars or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's all strange on Steam. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.